With the 2018-2019 NBA schedule being released today, we now have the dates for many interesting games. We get to know when some players return to face their old team, when rivalries rekindle, and find out which top teams are really better. Let's take a look at the top 10 games of the 2018-2019 NBA season. What's up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another video, and let's get into it. Number 10, Hawks vs Mavericks on October 24th. Two top rookies, Trey Young and Luka Doncic face off. What makes this game even more interesting is they were traded for each other on draft night, so we get to see which team really won the trade. Expect both rookies to put on a show and ball out. Number 9, Celtics vs Jazz on November 9th. This will be the first time Gordon Hayward returns to Utah to face him since he joined Boston in the 2017 offseason. We have to remember that Hayward missed last year due to his foot injury so he never faced the Jazz as a Celtic. What makes this game even more interesting is that Tatum and Mitchell will face off as they were two of the top three rookies from the 2017-2018 season. Last but not least, the Jazz and Celtics were two of the top defenses in the league last year. Actually, they were the top two. This will be an all-around great game. Number 8 Rockets vs Thunder on November 8th This will be the first time Carmelo will be back in Oklahoma City since they traded him. He will be on a mission or so out and make the Thunder regret getting rid of him. We will also be able to see two of the last MVPs with Harden and Westbrook going at it. Last but not least these are two contenders in the West and the Thunder for sure gave the Rockets trouble last year. Number 7 Lakers vs Cavaliers on November 21st this will mark the first time LeBron will face the Cavaliers back in Cleveland since he joined the Lakers this past offseason. This time though, the Cavaliers fans might not be as hostile towards LeBron, the man said shower him with love. In the end though, LeBron will show out for the Cavs in Cleveland, and the Cavaliers will try and go all out and beat the Lakers to prove to LeBron he should have stayed. Number 6, Warriors vs Pelicans on April 9th. By this point in the season, DeMarcus Cousins should be back on the court and will be back in New Orleans to face off against them. I applaud the NBA schedule makers for recognizing this opportunity and capitalizing. The Pelicans and especially Anthony Davis will be motivated to go all out against them and outplay Cousins. On the other hand though, Cousins may also be motivated to go off and show the Pelicans why he deserved a max contract. Number 5, 76ers vs Celtics on October 16th. With LeBron out the East, this game will be a matchup to see who will take the throne. The Celtics and the 76ers have had a mini rivalry going back to the 80s. This game will be interesting as we know Embiid does not like the Celtics and the 76ers will be out to prove themselves after losing last year's series in the playoffs in 5. On top of that, we will get to see Fultz vs Tatum as the picks they were selected with were traded in the 2017 offseason. Now that Fultz should be fully healthy, we will get to see the true winner of the trade. Number 4, Lakers vs Warriors on December 25th. This will be the first time LeBron faced off against the Warriors in a Lakers uniform. We will get to see how the Lakers grit and grind roster will play against the 2018 champions. This should be a good game as LeBron is always up for the challenge against the Warriors. Number 3, Raptors vs Spurs on January 3rd. This will be Kawhi's return to San Antonio. After him and DeRozan were traded this summer, they get a chance to play off against their former teams. They will both be trying to go off to prove that their team won the trade. On top of that, Kawhi has always been liked in the NBA, so when he returns to San Antonio, he will be the villain for the first time and we will get to see how that plays out. Number 2, Warriors vs Thunder on March 16th. We all remember the way the Thunder came out and destroyed the Warriors last year, and the Warriors responded by blowing them out. Both teams have a hate for each other, especially Westbrook and Durant. This will be the only time Durant is back in Oklahoma City all season, so it will be an epic game. With Melo also out of Oklahoma, expect the Thunder to play amazing. Number 1, Lakers vs Celtics on February 7th. This will be the first time the Lakers and Celtics face off this year. This will rekindle a long rivalry, and there are many, many rivalries that make this game even better. First, we get to see the two of the youngest teams in the NBA face off, who might be the beginning of a decade of high level basketball. Next, we have the Kyrie LeBron rivalry as Kyrie demanded a trade from Cleveland in the 2017 offseason to no longer be under LeBron's shadow. On top of that, LeBron has hated Boston for the last decade with many epic playoff series between him and the organization. Then we have the Tatum Lonzo matchup, who were the second and third pick in the 2017 draft. Kobe even added to the fire by training Tatum over Lonzo because Tatum looked up to Kobe and Lonzo looked up to LeBron. So, this will be related to LeBron Kobe feud. Last, Rondo will face the Celtics for the first time as a Laker, and Rondo started his career with Boston and won a championship there before they traded him. This will be an epic game for the ages. In conclusion, these are the top 10 games in the upcoming NBA season. Each game should be interesting with some sort of storyline behind it. 
Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post. And check out my last video. I'm out.